Welcome back to Falling Fox Gaming, everybody. I'm your host, Blaine, and today we're going to be playing some more Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Now, when we left off, we had traveled a good chunk of the Red Ring Road. We have kind of completed this half arc here, sort of, and we got back to this little uh, fort and split in the road area before I decided to go into town, the Imperial City, and sell a bunch of goods. I also did a little bit of off-screen progression because I wanted to level up a few things without wasting your guys' time. So we are about, I think we have four skill ups in this level, so we can level up six more times with primary skills, which are any of these here. We're going to either focus on Conjuration or Destruction. We can level up using either one of those. It's perfectly fine. In terms of our skills, we have our Strength at plus five and our Endurance at plus five. So we'll for sure level those two up next level. And then we'll level up Intelligence or Willpower, whichever one has the plus five by the time we get to the next level effectively. So to kind of explain where we are starting today, let's take a look at where we've actually been. This little fort right over here, the one that's kind of right in the distance there. That is where we ended last session. We kind of explored the little area and saw that there's just some bed rolls and a little dungeon that we could potentially do there later. We traveled along that road back there all the way up over the hills and that's where we came from. So today we're going to head this way. But we can do one of two things. We can either take the northern path up there, which is right up on that hillside, or we can take the lower path down by the water. If we look at the map, both paths lead to essentially the same area. But the northern path, kind of the upper path on the hillside there, is is the one that technically eventually goes to Skingrad unless you kind of do like this little loop down here. And I guess looking at this technically it does look like the lower road is the more official path. So I think we might take that road just for the sake of being official. Although I do like the idea of having the better sightline from the upper path. Let's do this. Let's just kind of run on the lower path until we get to the next fork and then we'll maybe go up on the northern path just to kind of see what's here. Because I have not actually explored near the water at all yet. So taking the lower path we have come across this um what looks like a ruin of some sort here pretty much right away uh the little inn is right there that we just kind of walked past and i did see somebody running across the top here and i don't know where they went but that's the lower path the upper path doesn't really seem to have anything it just seems to be a probably a better vantage point but i'm gonna kind of take it slow over here expecting to potentially get into a fight i should probably have my summons ready to do so as well Okay, so there's a couple people here. I don't know if you guys can see, but right down here and then right over there, there's somebody too. Okay, so what I've decided to do is I'm going to engage these people. I'm assuming they're going to be bandits because, well, pretty much everyone is in this game, at least here in the wild. And they're running around with their weapon out, so I just, I feel like they're a bad person. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually trying to find you if you just want to appear, please. Oh, there you are. So are they going to be friendly? Wow, look at that name. Fanaska Shushul. Okay, yep. All right, so you guys bad guy? Oh! Well, yeah, they're bad guys. Of course they're bad guys. You know, I should just know that, but I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. So we're going to go ahead and use kind of all the skills to our advantage here. Uh, it's pretty much everything. I have no... I don't have to hold back on any kind of attacks. Oh, I am kind of... I forgot about the other person. That guy. <laughs> oh, I should probably summon the scamp again, seeing as he went away. My scamp is supposed to be like my main damage dealer. That's part of the reason why I haven't actually focused on leveling up any of my attack skills. I do want summoning to be my main form of combat. So for those of you that have mentioned that I should focus on something a little more solid, you're right. I, I probably should, but at the same time, being a summoner was kind of the, the main part of this character, the main point of it. I gotta say, this person's pretty chill about me, if, like, fighting them. Oh, damn it, scamp appeared in the wrong area. Like, look at how chill they are. Like, everyone else is, like, super aggressive. This person's like, eh, I don't really want to fight you. So one thing that I've noticed is that spellcasters in this, they are not pushovers by any means. Man, I was expecting... I was expecting a lot of the spellcasters in this game to be kind of pushovers with, like, low amounts of health, but they are not at all. Most of the spellcasters actually, like, out, like, tank, like, the fighters and stuff. So that does make me a little nervous. And they heal. A lot of them heal. So we are starting to get to the point where we do have a little bit of health ourselves. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, like, god, these bandits. Yeah, bandits are no joke, especially the spellcasters. Now, I'm assuming, seeing as there were two bandits here, one of them being a little more powerful, that they'd have some kind of treasure, but I don't see anything. Stone door to Fana... Fanca... Fancasco? 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 Something like that. Mispronounce every single name in this entire game. That's okay. Once again, we're not going to do this dungeon quite yet because I do want to explore a little bit more of the Red Ring Road before we get there. So having uh, found like little dungeons inside that place, there's also one more little ruin kind of next to it. It looks like an old fort or something. After I discover what's ever in here, I'm going to head up to the upper road and see... Oh, we got a wolf. Always wolves. So if I can just get my beat you with a stick skill up. And destruction levels up so slow. 
I really should prowl. Okay, so Fort Virtue. All right. Any more wolves or anything? No. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick pause here on the southern route. It does look like there's another little thing right there. But I want to take a look and see if the upper route has anything as well. So it's a little off the beaten path, but I found like this little statue thing over here. And I kind of want to check out to see what it was. Clavicus Vile Shrine. I don't know what that is. Is it like a cult or something? Okay, so apparently for 500 gold, I could attempt to get something from this shrine. Looking at this guy, he does not look like somebody that is going to give me anything good, but let's talk to these other people. All right, so they don't say anything. So I have just over 2,000 gold, and I'm not going to lie, it's kind of burning a hole in my pocket. And I'm kind of curious of what could potentially happen here. So I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to donate 500 gold to whatever miscellaneous shrine this is of some person I've never heard of. The name does not make me think that anything good's going to happen, but YOLO. Clavicus Vile demands a more powerful champion to begin this quest. Okay. Well, it didn't take the money from me, and apparently it's just a quest chain, and I'm not good enough for it. Fine then, be that way. Okay, so I'm going to go back, and I'm going to do a once-over of the upper path, just in case there's something else cool there, because I don't want to miss it. All right, so we're back here at Fort Virtue. Um, there was nothing on that upper path other than that little like shrine thing that I found. It's good to know that there's, I guess, a secondary path. The thing that I did see is that the guards seem to follow that upper path a lot. There was like four guards up there, so that's something, I guess. And a random way shrine again. I got a random blessing again, which, again, I'm not even going to pay attention to because they are pretty much useless. They don't last long enough to really actually come into play pretty much ever, in my opinion. This looks more like an actual dungeon, like, directly on the ground. What's that? A deer. God, <laughs> scared me. Vindasil? Vindasil? And dice. I don't know how to pronounce it. You know, uh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What is that? I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't remember what that is. Uh, I vaguely remember there being a thing that kind of looked like a triceratops with two legs, but I have no idea what it actually is. All I know is I'm not doing much damage to it, but that's pretty typical, so. <laughs> oh, he killed my scamp. That's new. Where did my scamp despawn? I wasn't actually paying attention. Okay, so if that guy actually took out my scamp, that is really new. Clan Fear. Okay, yeah, I was going to say, I, I kind of remember them, but not fully. They're pretty cool. I'm curious if you actually killed my scamp. I need to, like, relook at that recording, because that, that's that'd be like, oh, whoop, 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 whoop. That is a wild scamp. That is definitely new. Okay. So we definitely stumbled across something here. That I should probably pay attention to. Okay, I need to watch my scamp to make sure he doesn't go down. Because I don't know if wild scamps are more powerful than mine. But I do need to be careful for the timeout limit of mine. Oh shit, which one's mine? I have absolutely no idea. Um. <laughs> ah! That was mine that died. <laughs> okay, so this is the bad one. I think. Oh, I hit my guy. Okay, damn. Yeah, scamps are no joke. <laughs> it's just, that's what fighting one is like. Okay, so what is this place? So, so this looks like another... Okay, so we have, we've run into a lot of these like ruined places. Like I really like them. Um, we're, we might potentially go to this place. I like that it's right on the main road. You think somebody would have cleared this out by now, seeing as it's like right on the main road from the Imperial City. This is the bottom left corner, so southwest corner. We've officially done over half a circle now, so we're, we're, we're making some progress on the Red Ring Road here. Not gonna lie, I uh, crossing this bridge is expecting it like jumped or something. With all the bandits and stuff that I've like run into, I feel like this would be one of the places they should have attacked me. Okay, so on my map marker, like a whole bunch of things just kind of showed up right here. And apparently this bridge is called the Old Bridge and it's an actual like location on the map, which is odd to me. Why would a bridge randomly be a marked location? It just makes me think there should be something here. So now I want to like look around a little bit and see if there's anything cool here. Well, nothing as far as I could tell just by kind of doing a, a quick once over. So I guess let's move on from there. We do have a ruined tower with probably a bandit over there to the left. And then to the right, I saw there's like a little village. Yeah, so there's a couple buildings there. Let's do our usual. Let's go to the tower and take out the bandits. And then after taking out the bandits, we'll go to check in the town and see if there's anybody there that has anything to say. So assuming this is a bad person, we're just going to summon our scamp. Yeah, they summon. Wait, 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 wait. I heard multiple voices. Just one person. All right, it's just one person. We're going to beat him over the head with an axe. 
Ha! I can block now. See? When we get when we take damage now, we don't like immediately just explode. <laughs> That's a new feature of leveling up our health bunch times. Um, so the lower part of this fort doesn't have anything, so I'm expecting this upper portion that's kind of like more completed and still standing. It's probably going to have a couple people. Fort Homestead. Yeah, I'm assuming there's going to be some bad guys in here. So let's start by being smart and summoning... Whoa! Whoa, what? <laughs> that was scary. Okay, uh, completely random. That guy snuck up on me very well. Good job, guy. Okay, our scamp is like starting to like not kill people quick enough. He's still doing a good job. Yeah, this kind of sounds like and uh, almost looks like the the guy from the arena. Ooh, okay. That guy had. Do you have a silver? Silver mace. I'm gonna take that. It's valuable. Plus, I think silver has some special characteristics. I can't remember what though. So we get the door to the actual like little dungeony place that's gonna be here, which we'll save for a little bit later, and then we'll go up and see if there's anything up here. Okay, so there wasn't really anything impressive here at the fort, but we did cast our uh, pick lock spell a whole bunch of times to get our alteration up. So that way we're kind of ready to level up because we are getting pretty close to doing an official level up. And so we have most of our bonuses set up now. So now that we've kind of explored this little fort, we need to head over to that little town and see if they can tell us anything about this fort or if there's maybe a little hidden quest or something for this place. Because I feel like just looking at this, they set this up in a way that kind of suggests there should be a lot of stuff going on here. So I'm thinking maybe we'll find ourselves a couple quests or something here. The town is called Pell's Gate. Interesting, is that like a riff on like Hell's Gate or is that just someone's name? Okay, so here in this little village of Pell's Gate, the doors to the houses are locked because it's like one o'clock in the morning and there's really nothing inside the inn. Um, I talked to the person that's just an innkeeper where I could rent a room, but that's just about it. I could just sleep till morning, but I figured, you know, what would be better than that is I'm really close to leveling up. If I can just go find a couple things to shoot and get my destruction skill up a couple times, I'll level up and then we can rest till morning and level up. So I'm going to go ahead and go off screen and do that really quick and we'll come back as, you know, as we level up. All right, so after finding a wolf that I was able to pin into a kind of a, a janky area. I managed to level up my destruction skill a couple times and we're ready to level up. So let's go ahead and go to Candace here and rent a room. Yes. I have a room if you're interested. It's 10 gold for a night. I'll take it. So let's go ahead and just sleep for the night. Okay, so we leveled up our strength this time around, our willpower to get some more magical regen, and our endurance. So both our strength and our endurance are getting up there pretty respectively. Um, I would like endurance to continue climbing because I do like the bonus hit points. That has actually saved us quite a lot. Just this level alone, I fought a whole bunch of things and never really came close to dying. So that's pretty nice. So one thing that's always nice about uh, leveling up is that we are now a blank slate. So now we can just kind of do whatever we want and then worry about leveling up when we get closer. So no one here in town has anything to say. This person I actually saw at the inn wearing like dress clothes and now she's wearing like leather armor over her dress. So that's interesting. But aside from that, this town's got nothing. So we're just gonna have to leave this place for now. Apparently there's nothing here. I kind of thought that something would actually like happen or be there, but apparently I was wrong. Okay, so looking at the map here, if we take a right, it goes all the way down south here to Breville and then Leowin way down here. So we're not going to do that, obviously. We're going to continue on the Red Ring Road because that's kind of our primary purpose right now, our primary goal. Okay, so now we have something that I was expecting at the other bridge. That looks like a highwayman to me. Just standing on a bridge waiting for people. Let's get ready to fight. I'm assuming this guy's... Yep, knew it. All these people are jerks. Everyone always wants to rob me. Get out of here, dude. It's okay, we're not pushovers anymore. Well... As big a pushover as I should say. So one thing I do want to say is we... Uh, oh! Uh, scamp down. Ow! It's my face. I like my face. Don't hit it. Um, one thing I will say is that we are now about to hit level 10. Or, well, not about to. Our next level is level 10. And I'm curious if we're going to end up with another uh, difficulty spike in enemies. Because I'm now kind of on the upper curve where I actually feel like I'm strong enough to take on bad guys a little more competently. Like, we're not really getting close to dying. We have enough magicka and stuff to get through an encounter. So I'm feeling pretty good about ourselves. So what I'm wondering now is I'm wondering if when we hit level 10, if we're going to hit another difficulty spike. And if we're going to struggle a little bit with that. 
Yay, more mud crabs. Okay, I'm gonna avoid killing these guys. So if you guys haven't figured it out by now, I leave all these mud crabs alive because that's where I do all my endurance and strength training. So if you guys are actually curious how I do that, I do that by fighting these guys. I tend to fight them and beat them down until they get close to dying and then I just leave them alone. And so far, every time I've come back, they've either been full health or have a bunch of health back. And just over across the river, we have some goblins. As for the goblins, I don't really have a good reason to fight them at the moment, other than just simply to fight them. So I'm going to actually do that, primarily because I want to get their little like cave on the map, because that's kind of the whole reason why I'm going around the Red Ring Road, is to get map marker things. And goblins, I don't think should be too much trouble. We fought them before and they weren't that bad. Although, it's been a while since we fought an archer, I'm not going to lie. Okay, how is this goblin doing for health? He's still doing pretty good. I'm gonna get a new scamp up. I'm gonna get away from the, the get away from the archer a little bit, so that way we can focus on this guy. Yeah, so they're actually the goblins seem to be weaker than bandits, at least. They're a little bit like less armored, I guess I'd probably guess. Alright, so one goblin down. I wanna check out their gear. Uh so steel shield and steel short sword. Not bad. Actually, I'm gonna kinda hit this guy in the head. Ow! <laughs> 360 no scope me. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him beat on me a little bit because I do need to let my armor skill need to go up a little bit here. All right, see, look at that. So I think that's kind of proof of how like in you know the endurance is actually helping us now. We can actually take on most things without coming close to dying. Fatback cave. So we got that, and we can go ahead and move on. Um, I see a horse up there. Is there a guard killing the mud crabs? Because that'd make me sad. See, the mud crabs are still alive. Horse does not have a saddle, so I don't remember if the guards have saddles on their horses or what. Where'd the horse go? Wait, is it a wild horse? What? Hold up. There's wild horses in this game? It only means one thing. I must try and get myself a wild horse. This one doesn't notice me. Oh, I can't get on it. That makes sense, because... I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no form of horse training skills. Okay, problem. What the heck is that? Oh, what's going on over there? Something hit the horse. What's attacking the horse? Is it a spellcaster? Okay, so we have a spellcaster attacking a horse. We have this freaking thing on fire over here. Can I make them fight each other maybe? So is this hostile? What is that? Hello, friend. Ah! Why does everything have to attack me? Okay, so my goal... What is... <laughs> what, is what is going on here? Is that a guard now? Okay. So, we're gonna go fight this guy. Oh, never mind. The guard seems to have taken care of it. No problem. Is he attacking the horse? Guard, that's... Oh, there's another bandit there. My goodness, what is going on here? Pretty good bandit. Sweetwater camp. I'm here to help, guard. I should probably be careful so I don't accidentally hit the guard. Okay, so I wanted the guard to live and, like, fight quicker because I want the guard to help me with whatever the heck this thing is. Ah, fire damage. Well, okay, resist. That makes complete sense, actually. So, I am not gonna let this thing touch me. Wait, so, can my scamp even do anything? My scamp's gonna have to like melee this thing, or it's not gonna do anything. Wait, I have other spells. I forgot I have a cold damage spell. Let's see if that helps. Be careful not to hit the guard. Okay, so we killed whatever that is. Flame match. Oh, duh. That's cool. Okay, so that's the first time we ran into one of those. Not gonna lie, I probably should have like understood what that was without having to like read the name. But you know. So let's see what the flame match was actually guarding. Sort of hardly. Okay, so another one of these places. We've discovered quite a few of them now. We could be quite busy exploring them in the future if we so choose. Okay, we have another one of those wells down there. And here's the entrance. Okay, so we have ourselves random horses fighting mud crabs. Is that another bandit? Bandits just, <laughs> bandits are just killing the freaking deer. Uh, go away, dude. They're wearing dwarven armor? Yeah, that's dwarven armor, I'm pretty sure. Like, I haven't seen it in this game yet, but I'm assuming it's Dwarven Armor. I don't know if I've hit anybody with this yet. It doesn't seem to, like, do anything. Hold on, I'm using the wrong spell. It's not what I was trying to do. I was being very touchy-feely with him instead of, you know, casting Frost on him. Uh, so a Marauder wearing, yep, Dwarven Curus. So let's go ahead and compare the armor that we just found. So we found the Dwarven Curus, which is five pounds heavier, but provides an extra point of defense. I, I don't really like the look of it all that much. I do like the silver or the steel better, but it is better than ours. So we're gonna wear it. That's just kind of how we're gonna have to do things. So now, oh, ah, what the heck? Ah, there's an archer. <laughs> I heard someone scream and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just nothing, and then apparently it wasn't nothing. It was an archer that's shooting at us. Oh wow, this uh, this spell gets my destruction skill up way faster. 
Got shot in the back by a stupid archer. So I found the fort, Lisa. Okay, so another fort. So this fort looks much more destroyed than the other forts. It doesn't have any of the upper levels. So all I'm kind of doing is going to the forts and checking to see if any of their doors are locked or anything because I'm going to assume that any doors that are locked are a little more important than others. And so far, none of them have been locked. So I guess maybe I'm just fooling myself. Wait, where'd that bridge come from? Hold on. Is that where I was going? Well, I kind of lost track of what I was doing. Oh, yeah, I'm about to go across that bridge. <laughs> I should have known that big bridge is coming up and had no idea. Okay, taking a quick peek at the map here. I did want to take a look at the map before we actually cross this big old bridge. We have discovered quite a few places so far today. Um, we started up over this way, so, you know, all these places are discovered just today. Um, nothing that has actually like, drawn us in to actually e explore it, which is kind of interesting. But one thing I do want to point out is that there's a lot of wildlife around here. So if we need to do any kind of training or anything like that, this is definitely a good place to come back to try and level up any of our skills, like our blunt skills or our armor skills. Tons of mud crabs, tons of wolves, deer, all that. Oh, is that going to be another bandit? All right, so seeing as the bandits are getting pretty tough and this fight could be difficult seeing it's on a very narrow spot on the bridge, I think we're going to end it here and pick up with that fight immediately next time. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. Exploring the Red Ring Road has been a lot of fun and I hope you guys are having a good time with me. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the episode, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one.